Cheers, everybody! Welcome to my channel. Uh, I'm the Mad Coffee, and we're still playing Kathy Rain. We're at our grandmother's house. Our grandfather died. We were uh, half an hour ago. Uh, I'm quoting here. Uh, half an hour ago, we were on the at the funeral. We talked to the uh, uh, priest, and um, he want to see us at the church some time. I guess we're going there later. I guess. And now we're visiting. We are gonna. We gonna visit our grandmother. Man, I can't talk today. I'm. It's something I always say, right? Let's look at it. There's so so many things to see, look at, think about. We're thinking a lot. I can go outside. I thought I could look at it and think about. Nope. Heading back, and it's raining. Coincidence? Kathy Rain? Nah. There's nothing quite like the soothing sound of rain falling on a window. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's something. Um. There's nothing quite like yeah. the soothing sound of rain falling on a window. I like this too. Horsey. Cute red horse. It's some old Swedish thing, I think. Yep, yeah, it's not a horse. They're doing it. The, they're red horses with paintings on it. A mere single pair of boots on display. Boy, do we live in different worlds. Mm-hmm. Nice black leather coat. Right up my alley. Maybe we can get it? Because it's raining outside? Look at it. Wheelchair. An old wheelchair. Not too dusty. Probably used recently. Mm-hmm. Guess so. A small table lamp. Mm-hmm. These should come in handy when I need to make calls. Phone book. Man, I didn't see one in a while. A wedding photo from when my grandparents married. They look younger than I am now. Things have sure changed. It's a photo of this very farm from way back. It says June 12, 1910 in the corner. Whoa, that's old. Some kind of winter forest scene. I've always wondered if it's supposed to be Conwell Woods or not. Bob Ross? <laughs> uh, Dog fighting. Grandpa used to love that stuff. War, red War veteran. So yeah. Uh, I don't want to go upstairs. I want to see... A lamp on the ceiling. Nothing special about it. Yeah, just a lamp. Let's head, in, head into the living room. I guess the, our grandmother mother is waiting there. Yep, she is. Oh, hello, dear. I was just wondering what took you so long. Sorry, I couldn't resist taking that old wheelchair for a spin. <laughs> oh, don't give me that look. I put it back. You haven't changed one bit. Always kidding around, just like when you were little. Come have a seat. We have so much to talk about. So, now, tell me about your life in the city. Oh, there's not much to tell. I'm going to school for journalism. It's my second year. I ride a motorcycle in case you missed it there out front. Ah, oh, that's right. Just like your father. Yeah, I suppose. I must ask. Have you heard anything from your father? Anything at all? No, nothing since he bailed way back then. I expected as much. He disappeared without a trace. No matter, that's ancient history. How Sharon then? Okay. So our father vanished. I guess this is the mystery to solve now. Where what is what our legacy is, what um what our story with our father is, what the story of our fa oh, far our fathers. Oh, man. English is hard today. Just had my fourth coffee. Tell the truth, you had her committed to a mental institution. Oh, way. Hey. Avoid the subject. No reason to bring it up now. Ah, uh, come on. Let's go with the truth. Mom is... I had her committed to a place where she could get some real help. I just couldn't take it anymore. I'm sorry to hear that. 
in spite of everything that happened when she took you away. Yeah, about that. I'm sorry I didn't visit sooner, Grandma. Mom, she told me all these horrible lies about you and Grandpa. When I was old enough to understand what she was doing, I felt like it was much too late. It wasn't your fault, dear. You were a child. I'm just happy that you're here now. Me too. So, what about you? How have you been doing all these years? I've been lonely ever since the accident. There's no denying that. What accident? Goodness gracious. Of course you don't know. She took you away before it all happened. Don't know what? I will never forget that dreadful day. August 16th, 1981. It was the middle of the night when Sheriff Truman knocked on our door. He had Joseph with him. I couldn't even recognize Joseph at first. All dirty and wet with an awful blank stare on his face. Shut the fuck up, Like his Windows. soul had been ripped from his body. Well. Since that day, he never spoke a word. Forever confined to that blasted wheelchair. Really? For all this time? I had no idea. It came as a shock to all of us. That's horrible, Grandma. I'm so sorry. Thank you, dear. Mm-hmm. Incident in 81. Why do you think Grandpa suddenly left that night in 81? I haven't the faintest idea. He acted very peculiar not long before it happened, disappearing for hours at a time. At first, I even suspected he was having an affair. When I asked him about it, he just said he was chasing old demons. He must have had something to do with the war. Uh-huh. Hmm. Stress disorder. Mm, don't know. Uh... Maybe it was post-traumatic stress disorder? Grandpa always had a hard time showing weakness. I don't know, dear. I I'm just speculating. I didn't think too much of it at the time. Joseph was a man of few words. I'm sure he just didn't wish to burden me with it, whatever it was. Hmm. What did the doctors have to say about Grandpa's condition? Persistent vegetative state. That's what they call it. I've heard it all by now. One doctor said it was a stroke. Another claimed it was a seizure. The third hack tried to sell it off as a severe infection. Hmm. It's all a load of tripe. I had an MRI performed on Joseph. It's one of those state-of-the-art head scans. Yeah, I've heard of them. Yes, well, according to the scan, his brain was completely intact. They thought it was a technical problem at the time, some kind of glitch. But the result was the same after three different scans on three different machines. Eventually, they had to confess that they simply had no credible explanation for the state he was in. Huh. And this injury just happened to occur on the very same night he mysteriously disappears? Indeed. I refuse to believe it was a coincidence. Hmm. Alright. This is very suspicious. What did Sheriff Truman have to say about the matter? <sighs> Not much. He said they simply found Joseph in that condition on the outskirts of town. The sheriff was convinced there was some kind of foul play involved, but the investigation turned up nothing. He later said that he was sorry, but that he was forced to close the case. You know, I could try to find out more about this. You're welcome to try, dear. Some kind of closure would mean the world to me. Okay, I think I'll head over to the sheriff's station for a little chat then. Would be nice to witness police doing some actual police service for once. <laughs> Sure, you go ahead. Let me know if I can be of any more help. This is really weird. What do we have here? Oh, the brochure. I already talked to her about that. Ah, all right. This is something I can talk about with her. All right. See you later, Grams. Take care, dear. These are the choices I can do. All right. Hmm. This is this is odd. Grandpa in his Air Force uniform looks to be in his early 20s. I'm always looking at all of the things here. Planes, planes, and more planes. Hope you don't mind. Planes? That's my great-grandfather, Eric Wren. I never met him. They changed the spelling to Rain after he died, I think. Aha! Uh -huh. 
see what you did there. For the sake of a uh, game title. Some woman dressed fancy. I'm not sure how I'm related to her, but she has my hair. Hmm. Alcohol, booze. Look at it. Expensive looking scotch. That thing has been standing there forever. <laughs> and it's not getting old. Uh, sideboard, look at it. A robust piece of wooden furniture. Nice leather chair. Freckles, the old farm cat, used to love that thing. Grandma has prepared some tea for us. And you didn't drink any. Mind if we talk for a bit, Grandma? Not at all, dear. What's on your mind? Uh, nothing. Bye, Grandma. I'll be back later. So long. There's nothing quite like the soothing right. sound. We already had that. A decent-sized book collection. Most of them science or history related from the looks of it. Hmm. An intricate toy airplane with moving parts. Nothing here to look at. Nope. Nope. Sipping grandma. Nice that they added the sound for that. Going upstairs. I shouldn't overstay my welcome. Why not? Hmm. Alright, then. Head outside. Go to the police station, I guess. Really odd. Really, really suspicious. Yeah. Young cop. Mm hmm. Oh. Land of the free. Hooray. Not their peak hours, it seems. Hey, Sheriff. What's the deal with that bum? What bum? The one in the cell. Oh, I thought it was you. Well, shit. Wait. I didn't get you. A bunch of cops lining up for a photo. I like the soundtrack. This is cool. Might be something useful in there. Mm-hmm. Some young cop. Looks a bit familiar. Uh, okay, I guess. Maybe halfway through. That's no good. We're gonna have to cancel lunch today. Again? Oh, man. Your motivation shouldn't be limited by your growling stomach, Remy. If you say so, boss. <laughs> I think this is cool. Hey, they add something there. A little chatting with the boss Hi. and his... Hello. Ooh, handsome. Do I have to commit a crime to get your attention? Because I seriously will. <laughs> Ma'am, I'm really quite busy at the moment. Hey, huh. wait. I know you. I don't care. I'm pretty sure you don't. Yes, I do. You're Kathy. Kathy Rain. What? My reputation precedes me. In huh. a kind of, but not totally creepy way. Aw, oh, come on. It's me, Lenny. Lenny Marks. Yeah, you look like someone who is a Lenny. Blonde hair and green. You can totally see that he has green eyes. Or is it blue? I don't know. Green. Green. We have green eyes too. Yeah. Admit the truth, you have no clue who he is. I don't know who he is. <laughs> I'm drawing a blank. Really? You don't remember us playing when we were little kids? Not really. Sorry, buddy. Darn. Well, that's a bummer. Anyway, what can I do for you today? <laughs> well, he got, <laughs> he got over it. Very fast. Alright. At least I'm honest. I wanted to ask if you know anything about my grandfather's accident. I really don't know much beyond the rumors. The sheriff may have more information, but even he probably doesn't know anything that isn't in the report. It happened before either of us worked here. Okay, I think I'll have a chat with the sheriff then. Mm -hmm. Sure thing. His office is to your right. Okay, bye then. Well, gotta go. See ya. Oh, green phone. It's Lenny's phone. Might be useful somehow. Yeah. Lots of police reports organized alphabetically by the looks of it. Various notices and a wanted poster. Who is wanted? Go. 
Mm. A medieval fortress near an ocean, probably supposed to be somewhere in Europe. Sure, where else? How can I help us? It's my mother's birthday this weekend. You'll have to get her a gift. A uh, gift? Like what? <laughs> I don't really know your mother. <laughs> Christ's sakes, all moms are the same. Just use your imagination. <laughs> I'm expecting something nicely wrapped on my desk by the end of the week. Uh, okay, boss. <laughs> These conversations are hilarious. I don't know if you hear it, but heard it, but oh, I get the speech up. This is cool. This is so cool. Hey, yeah. Sheriff, what's the deal with that bum? What bum? The one in the cell. Oh, I thought it was with you. Well, shit. <laughs> I like him. I really like him. Talk that to must be the sheriff. He looks grumpy. Mm, yeah, like all sh all sheriffs sheriffs are doing. Hello, sheriff. Do you have a moment? Not really. Make it quick. Jeez. Do you know what happened to Joseph Rain in '81? He had a stroke in the woods. That's what happened. If that's all there is, why would Sheriff Truman open an investigation? Yeah. It was just standard procedure. A general occurrence report always has to be filed. I see. Did you know him at all? No, I haven't been in town for long. Man sure has one hell of a reputation, though. It's been over a decade since he was put in that wheelchair, and people still talk about the man he used to be. It's like he was a cult leader or something. Sounds like a conspiracy theory to me. Could be, but you know what they say. Things too good to be true usually are. Mm -hmm. Could I have a look at that report? Absolutely not. They were official police documents. Why not? I thought filed police reports are public record. Not in this state, they ain't. Well, okay. Oh, come on, sure. What's the big deal? But I'm family. Yeah, I am. Huh. But I'm family. Doesn't that count for something? You consider yourself family? I've never even seen you before in this town. I am. It's complicated. Guess what's complicated? Not to mention illegal. Handing out evidence to anyone who asks for it. Come on, what's the big deal? Aw, oh, come on, Sheriff. What's the big deal? It was a long time ago. It would make this girl very, very happy. <laughs> Are you trying to use flirtation on an officer of the law? <laughs> well, that shit may work on numbnuts like Lenny, but I got work to do. And there we have it. <laughs> it would work on Lenny. Oh, man. They hit me with all the hints. Right Lenny, in the face. a little help here? Don't you agree that he's taking by the book too far? Well, uh, boss, she is his granddaughter, really. I don't think it's any... Don't you think I know that? There are rules. Am I the only one in here who cares about the law? Too much coffee? Try not to pop a vein. <laughs> you want to see the inside of a cell? Oh, cuff me, officer. Spare me the torment of your rhetorical questions and veiled threats. Just follow the rules like everyone else. I've had enough of this nonsense. Fine. Alright. Sure, American flag in the corner. Sure. I guess somebody's a winner. <laughs> Trophies. Nice. Mouse, what are you doing? How's the paperwork coming along, Lenny? Tons uh, of miscellaneous okay, I files. Maybe I don't see through. anything labeled as police no reports, so those must be elsewhere. Today. Again? Oh, man. Come on, Mouse. What are you doing? By your growling stomach, Lenny. If you say so, boss. A photo of the sheriff mm. shaking hands with some bald guy in a suit. Probably the mayor. It's always the mayor. Yep. Just some photo. I can't see it clearly from here. Can I walk over there and uh, study it? Just some photo. I can't see it clearly from here. You're studying. A gold medal of some kind. Just some photo. I can't see it clearly from here. Alright, guess we are going to get back uh, some other night to get the files. Or the files are here. I need you to do something. How can I help, boss? Nah, here. Hey, Lenny. Hello, Kathy. What's up? Police report. Hey, 
I need to see the police report from 81 when my grandfather was found by the old sheriff. I'd love to help, Kathy. The files are right here behind me. But you better check with the sheriff first. Okay, I'll do that. <laughs> right behind me, wank. Well, gotta go. Not wank. See you. Wink. Why would I wank to this? Looks like talking isn't gonna help me get that report. Mm -hmm. I'll have to take matters into my own hands. Yeah, looks like it. I wonder what's behind those doors. Uh, cells? Not sure where those doors lead. I should go check it out. Hmm, I guess we... We're not allowed to. Hey, Sheriff. What's the deal with that bum? What bum? Yeah, cells. Oh, man. A lot of stuff in here. A jail cell. Looks cramped. Mm-hmm. Mop. If I ever feel the urge to clean, I'll know where to go. Oh, man. There's a pun in my head. <sighs> oh, no. Hey, Skrillex! Mop that base! Oh. Was like a <laughs> mop that looked like Skrillex hair cut. Oh, whatever. Looks like an incarcerated bum. Mm hmm. Hey. What? I can't eat! Ha! <laughs> okay. Turn this. Turn it off. <laughs> Thanks! That was getting annoying. <laughs> oh, cool. This is this is nice. This hey. is a little extra. Hi there. He looks familiar. So, why'd they put you in that cell? Uh, well, uh, it's all just a big misunderstanding. Yeah, they all are. Is that so? Yeah, I, I didn't mean to steal anything. I was uh, just using my pockets to move the beer to the checkout. Yeah. That's the worst excuse I have ever heard. <laughs> For your information, I happen to have a deadly fear of shopping carts. I take my last statement back. This excuse is even worse. <laughs> hey, it wasn't your father who was killed by a shopping cart when you were eight. Uh, I sure hope not. <laughs> to be fair, mine wasn't either. It was just Uncle Bob. But that doesn't mean it was any less traumatic, mind you. To this day, I still get nervous breakdowns at grocery stores. <laughs> I think I've heard enough, buddy. You're right. We should stop before the flashbacks begin. <laughs> what? What? How? It's just how? <laughs> huh. You need to keep the blonde cop out there busy for a while. I do? Ten bucks says you do. Hmm. I'd say my services in this matter are worth at least 20 bucks. What? Nine. Fifteen. Eight. Fine. Ten. Seven. <sighs> Deal. What? Good. So, uh, <laughs> what am I doing again? Distract that young cop in the lobby. I don't care how you do it, as long as you keep him occupied for a while. Okay, then. Let me know when. Will do. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Oh man, this guy is not good in in dealing. Ah, uh, various tools. Look at it. Maybe there's some An axe, a sledgehammer, and some other heavy tools. Nice. I can use some sledgehammer. Too heavy to carry around and too noisy to use in here without getting caught. Mm, yeah, maybe. But a sledgehammer would come in handy. And mouse, do your stuff. Ah, come on, mouse. All right, wait a few seconds. There we go. Evidence lockers. They look sturdy enough. Wouldn't be able to break them open without taking my time and making a lot of noise. Ah, uh, maybe I can get the TV turned on again. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Got an achievement for that. <laughs> uh, too heavy some. to carry around and too noisy to use in here without getting caught. Nah. Isn't the TV noisy enough? I'll need a key. Hmm. If I ever need to find evidence, I'll know where to look. Okay. Just a bunch of boxes filled with office supplies. A computer monitor. Probably recovered stolen goods. There's no way small town cops would be that up to date with the modern world. <laughs> Just a bunch of boxes filled with office supplies. Something else here. Various tools. No, no. That turned it off again. I thought. 
Bullet. No wanted posters. I'm disappointed. Me too. Can I? No, I can't. Hey, the jail is off limits. You shouldn't be in there. Oh, sorry. I just heard someone yelling. Uh, I think that guy in the cell needs some help. Ah, <sighs> oh, what now? Okay, I have to make this quick. Eh. Lots of police... Come on. Search him. Okay, let's have a look. An individual was encountered on the side of the dirt road a few miles from Colorado Springs, blindly walking forward with the, his eyes wide open. The subject was ident identified as Joseph Ray and he did not respond when touched or spoken to. He appeared to be dirty from head to toe and sweat up his knees. Uh, Mr. Rain was fiercely clutching a small tape recorder, completely with tape. Hmm. Being cooperative, he could be led into the squad car and transported back town. Picked, uh, picked up Mrs. Rain and brought her... Miss Rain? Mrs. Rain? I don't know. Brought her along with Mr. Rain to the emergency room at the community clinic. Upon routine inspection of the patrol car, a tape recorder was found, discarded on the back seat, filed as evidence in Locker 5. Alright. We gotta get a key. Hmm, I'm gonna have to get my hands on that recorder. Yeah, definitely. Okay, let's find the key to Locker number 5. Got there it. There we go. Let's head. Run in front of it. And pretend we didn't do anything. Alright. Let's wait. Until he is distracted again. How's your paperwork coming along, Lenny? Uh, okay, I guess. Maybe halfway through. That's no good. We're gonna have to stand Good. Thanks. Uh, did we... Did we give him the dollars? I guess that's something we do oh okay um and what we will find in the locker <laughs> comes in the next episode <laughs> right pausing the game oh the game isn't paused all right but all right this is it for this episode guys hope you enjoy the game as much as i do i really want to know what's in the locker <laughs> cliffhanger and um hope you enjoyed it like subscribe if you like what I do, and hope to see you in the next episode, and as always, share a mug.